welcome to the mosquito production facility for Project Wapaka. Inside each cage, we have a male and female mosquito. Of course, there's a more females inside before the uh, egg production. So uh, at the bottom of the cage, you can see there's uh, what we call oviport. That means egg collection containers. Inside, there's a, a shallow water. Then there are mosquito eggs. holding the eggs from the first room, there are millions of eggs. So the next step actually is to hatch them. So you can see that we have a, a fresh hatched eggs this morning. Those are smaller ones are the uh, mosquito larvae at the first instant. Normally we will load uh, up to far, high, uh, half a million mosquito larvae into this uh, jar. Then we load this jar on top. Then we uh, just simply press run. Due to the uh, special design with uh, fluid dynamic and uh, optical design, the mosquito larvae will pass through an optical counter very fast. That's how we are able to achieve uh, millions of mosquito production per week. Mm. So now that it's lighting up, what does this mean? That means the mosquito has been uh, pushed out from the reservoir. So the mosquito have the tendency to swing away from the light. So we use this uh, behavior to design our machine to have a gentle flow, a continuous gentle flow of mosquito larvae into the system. The next step actually is to seed, what we call seeding uh, process, which is uh, pouring the larvae into their, this rearing rack system. Larvae will stay here about uh, seven days. So at the day seven, we will harvest them for the next process, which is a uh, sex separation. So this is the top view uh, of the mosquito pupa. Uh, the smaller ones are males, the bigger ones are females. So this system of uh, imagine will generate a graph like this, two bell shape. So the smaller size, which is uh, represented uh, by this uh, small uh, by this bell shape, which are the male sizes, are this uh, bell are the female sizes. Now we are standing in the sex sorter room. After we gather information from the scanning system, then we take this information into this room, then change a the mechanical seat to separate the male from the females. So let's go in and take a look. After we pour in the uh, mixture of male and female pupa into this machine, the machine will give us female from the top tube and the male from the middle tube. So we only interested in the male pupa because we are only release male mosquito.
say that the male Aedes mosquito do not bite, let's put it to the test. Oh, I know it's coming to my hand. Nothing, no bites.